I just want to say that first and foremost, let me welcome you this morning. And I think that it will be proper for us, ladies and gentlemen, hence we'll be welcoming the train, the green train, which has actually traveled about eight provinces. I think we are the last province. It started in Cape Town, went to uh, Northern Cape, from Northern Cape to Northwest, from Northwest to Gauteng, from Gauteng to um, Limpombo, from Limpombo to Mpumalanga, and Mpumalanga to KwaZulu Natal, the kingdom of KwaZulu Natal, Devon. For us having had the privilege on the climate train of in interacted with them, of them having opened up and shared with us their struggles, their hopes and their aspirations to be assisted to adapt in a changing climate environment. We hope that all of you in your roles in Durban will act with urgency so that we can all live well. Thank you. What will we say to them about the J.P. Morgan Chase banker in his high-rise office in Chicago with the highest carbon footprint of us all, but he will not be the first to fall? While some are creating distance campaigns and others are calling on governments to action change in lands where concepts are being explained to people in languages they do not understand, what will we say? To the Khoisan. Ladies and gentlemen, was amazingly. I really very consciously chose to come here today to spend a few minutes with you because I was very taken by this uh, idea of a climate train. Now, I've been to a couple of cops in my life, probably about 16, this one going on 17. <laughs> and I have never, ever, ever seen a climate train in preparation for a cup. I think it is a fabulously brilliant idea, not only because of the low carbon footprint, which I also celebrate, but because of what the train has meant in the history of mankind. And typically when you think of the history of trains, you think of how trains have been used to go into the frontier land of every country. I think you deserve a very big, big round of applause for that. We must set the tone and walk the talk as government. It means it must start with us in our own buildings. So the management of all the buildings resides with us. With these MECs who are here, in the provinces together with us at the national level, then it means we must set the example. Accordingly, all retrofitting of existing buildings and construction of new properties by government will be in line with this agreed measure. This policy will be rolled out at the national, provincial, and eventually at local government level. There must be proper planning now. So the Department of Public Works intends to lead the South African construction and property industry towards a regulated green building dispensation beyond the nice-to-do concept 
currently in place. I was very moved and encouraged by the statement made by the uh, Minister for the Department of Public Works on the R&D, the research and uh, development, which we believe uh, Africa should become or should be seen as a global city, one, and we should all trade between ourselves within our countries and develop our local content and the research the R&D researching into this and looking for alternative uh, solutions would help us not to make the mistake the developed world had made. And uh, we are at a point where we could correct those mistakes. I take courage in the CEO of Indalietu, who earlier on said that if we recycle, if we reuse, and if we reduce, we will rejoice in how we live with the planet. Who would be the social players with sufficient um, credibility in our society to take forward such a, uh, a discussion? Yeah, you know, clearly there, there's, there's labor, there's indigenous peoples, uh, organizations, there's civics, etc. There are many. But it, it seems to me that if we are to have such a conversation, it needs to be led by a grouping of, of many organizations from different sectors with, with credibility. And it needs to be an authentic conversation in which um, the voice of the people shape the document. If we are to allow capitalists to continue, it is clear that we are heading for a disaster. So the initiative which has been uh, taken up by Indalo here to especially um, the People's Charter, which we believe that in our next workshop we're having um, an energy policy conference. In that conference, we believe that this is one of the documents which need to be uh, tabled by uh, ourselves for NUMSA to adopt as a working document, uh, which we believe that COSATO also need to be aware of this document, which we can then um, utilize as a working document for the future of our own environment. It becomes important that we build those alliances as the capitalist class that is busy degrading our act is moving across all our countries. So it becomes important to have those organizations that can have muscles to drive this on global scale. It's been quite phenomenal for me, and the biggest um, outcome for me is seeing people on the train working together, really, really, really trying to work together. That's been the biggest thing for me on the train. And of course, the daily planting is, is, is a joy to us because that's when we really get to engage with the community. It was a huge experience besides the uh, art making but also from the administrative side and just working under intense pressure. There's been no day without pressure. Either you're tired or you're so stressed but at the end you're so happy. <laughs> working with these practitioners and their you know, real sort of almost cutting edge sort of uh, t you know, uh, methods and uh, techniques to Bring, bring emotional experiences out to the kids. You know, like uh, that was that 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 was eye-opening and, and wonderful to be a part of. I really do think that harnessing indigenous knowledge, empowering people, not only helps them to face climate change, but also builds solidarity and um, makes communities stronger. I would say the legacy part would come in not so much in terms of the physical train, but in terms of uh, what the people have taken and learned from the, from the train, and they will then go and to implement at home. Uh, the response actions that they are going to implement, I will say that would measure the, the impact of the, of the train as a, as a legacy project of, of COP17. You are all with us. <laughs>